guys and welcome to part three of my advice series if you didn't watch the video before this go ahead and check those other two videos out and make sure you guys give those video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy them if you like videos like this make sure to give this video a big thumbs up at the end if you'd like to please subscribe and comment down below what other type of videos you would like to see from me in my advice series let's get into it so starting with number one for my red flags in a man is going to be he only talks about himself the whole date yes i've experienced this and yes it is hell because who wants to be on a date um with someone for the first time ever and the person just discusses themselves and literally doesn't let you get in a word at all i've unfortunately have had to experience this and it's very uncomfortable and really annoying because i'm trying to get to know that person yes but at the same time i want them to know about myself and what i like what i like to eat what i do I like to have a conversation where me and that person are both going back and forth discussing ourselves, not just a one-sided conversation because then I feel like I am not talking to an adult and I'm talking to someone who seems maybe a very entitled and is kind of always used to just everybody kind of listening to them and never getting to speak about themselves. And for me, that's like an instant turn off. So if you experience that even on the first date, girl, then you should run okay as soon as you can for the hills because it will probably only get worse from there so number two on my list of red flags is he doesn't hold the door for you whether that be in the car going to the restaurant or wherever you guys may be going to like date wise maybe even the movies and he walks ahead of you not beside you now this is something that i kind of had to think about it's very particular to each woman some women don't want the man really walking right next to them but i feel like that's a good sign of someone who if you're walking on like a sidewalk and they walk on the street side and they're trying to kind of like protect you from the cars i feel like that's a very gentleman like thing to do so if they don't do this then honey it's not for me okay and it may not be for you either for you viewers out there so i would say that's a very big red flag because i feel like if he was to date you and be in a serious relationship with you one day maybe that you would want to feel secure and safe from your man you would not want to feel like he just throws you in the street or you're just walking in the street and anything happens to you and god forbid you get run over by a car or something like that and i feel like it's just like for me i'm a person who likes to feel secure with my man so if i don't feel secure with you like that then it's just a no off rip and we will not be having a second date red flag number three is that he never introduces you to his friends or his family um maybe even co-workers because some people are really close with their co-workers and they are obviously like friends to them so honestly this is like depends on the situation because some people they may come from a toxic household and they may not want to introduce you to their family or they may not even speak to their family so in that case i understand and i wouldn't like pressure them to have me meet their family if that was the case because i understand what that's like so i would never force someone to feel like you have to let me introduce you to your family because it's a must for me even though they may not even speak to their parents or their siblings you know so i feel like that's debatable in this sense but if they come from a normal household and you know he talks about his parents or his siblings in a in a good light then i feel like there's nothing wrong with wanting to meet them eventually especially his friends because the people that people hold around their friends or themselves around their friends is people who is in good company to them and they would probably want them to meet their significant other one day especially if you guys are trying to date and be serious one day and maybe even eventually get married then you know it's something that you really want to think about and for me that's a really red big red flag if that person doesn't want me to meet either their family or friends like i said it's situational but if the case is that they don't come from like a bad home or anything like that and they really have no legitimate reason to not introduce you to their friends or family then it's a red flag girl so red flag number four is that he asks you for some type of money before the date or even on the date and yes i've experienced this it's very embarrassing but this was like years ago and i experienced like texting this person before we even got to go on a date and we were getting to know each other and they like tried to ask me for like 25 dollars for like their window or something and i of course said no because i don't even know you why am i giving you money that is not my job that is not my place to be giving you money like i don't even know you 
you could take the money and then block me so i feel like that's just super weird and like icky and like it's so rude and disrespectful like don't ask somebody for money before you even meet them or on the date like they are probably gonna try to use that money to pay for themselves on the date like i'm not paying for you and me so you need to figure that out and if you're not bringing money with you on the date as a man then there's issues with that but that's for another time because i can go into a whole other story about you know a man and a woman you know kind of debating who should pay on the first date i know that's very controversial and controversial and a topic that a lot of people don't want to discuss but if you guys would like to see a video on that let me know down below if that's a video that you guys would want to have me speak on the topic about because i like to get into debates like that red flag number five for our final red flag i am gonna say brings up his ex constantly or on a consistent basis and girl, he may not be over her if he's doing that. Okay, let's just be real. He may not be over her if he's bringing her up constantly. Every time you guys have a date or every conversation you guys have, he always refers back to his ex. And that's a big red flag that you should definitely look out for and not ignore. Because I know sometimes you may like the person and then you start to think like, well, maybe I can just ignore this and like, maybe it will change. Maybe he'll stop talking about her. But a lot of times those things don't change. Like they may not be over that person and you may just be their rebound and that's okay. You don't have to be anybody's rebound. You can choose to opt out, obviously. But if you feel... You kind of get the feeling that you know they're not over that ex and they maybe probably didn't get the proper amount of closure then maybe it's your cue to go and not to continue to speak to this person because they haven't fully healed yet and it really wouldn't be fair to yourself to kind of put yourself in a situation i feel like in my opinion and keep talking to that person if they're going to continue to bring up their ex I hope you guys enjoyed the third installment of my advice series. Make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys comment down below if you've ever had bad red flag experiences or what's your biggest red flag on your list. I will see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe if you did enjoy this video as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.